All right. Uh, before we get started, I just want to let you know that tomorrow I'll be meeting with Gary Bettman. I look forward to continuing to contribute to the process. I know I respect you all doing your jobs and having uh, your questions as well here, but uh, I won't comment any further to the appropriate time after I, I meet with the commissioner. Uh, is that meeting here or are you flying up north? Uh, I believe it's in New York. Okay. Um, did you talk to anybody within the team today? Do you have a meet, team meeting? We had uh, several little quick meetings about uh, different subjects. Yeah, I would assume that was one of them. Uh, it was addressed. Any problems you feel within the room? Do you feel like this could be a distraction, anything of that sort? I think we tried to eliminate all distractions, and uh, that was one of them. Um, Coach, taking it on the ice, uh, Anton Lindell, not out of today. Is he going to travel on this road trip? Uh, we'll see, probably, more than likely, um, but uh, he's not playing tonight. And Marcus Dudevar back on the ice, uh, getting a bit closer. First time, but he looked really good. Uh, I think the, the process of being away helped him. Uh, he looked comfortable. He looked solid out there. He looked like a different player, so that's, uh, that, that could be real positive. Uh, going for seven in a row today. Are you guys starting to feel the, the the streak a little bit, or is it still just feel game by game right now? Uh, game by game. I think we have different kind of games every night. Uh, you know, I think we got a dangerous opponent. Uh, we got a lot of weaponry in their in their lineup. Obviously, the top line's huge. Um, so that's an awareness of who's on the ice is going to be a factor. Um, but let's play right. Uh, but this is a good test for us tonight, knowing that Boston's going to be a contender. Coach, you just mentioned it, that top line for Boston, you know, <laughs> positive Bergeron, Marshawn. How do you contain those guys in particular? Well, I think you want to make sure you try to manage the puck when you have it because they're they're dangerous when they strip you and what they turn it into the next play. So there's a lot of uh, looks that they have starting right from the face-off circle. Um, they'd be at special teams. They're, they're dangerous shorthanded. They're dangerous on the power play. So they're uh, – multifaceted is what they're trying to do. So let's, uh, let's try to make them defend a little, but uh, let's make sure we keep the high quality stuff away from that group. Such a hot, hot start to the season, the streak, you know, coming up tonight. How do you keep your guys focused on that and not the, this outside distraction that I know you don't want to comment on, but you know, how do you keep focused on hockey? Well, it's one game at a time, uh, you know, let's say, uh, you know, we've been playing that type of way all year long. I um, mean, that's where focus is one shift at a time, you know, place an emphasis on the, the importance of that shift move forward. So it's a, it's where it's at and certain things you can control and, uh, you know, just being in the right place and being ready to play is what we're all about. Coach, uh, last season, puck possession was a problem against the Bruins. Obviously, a season later, a lot of things have changed, but coming into this contest, uh, what's your main focus for your team to be able to remedy that and obviously continue the streak? Well, it's a uh, – they got a uh, very mobile defense. They're a you know, dangerous team, be it off the rush, uh, but they do like the puck, and they're they're active in a five-man attack. And But that's, uh, again, uh, our – Offensive zone time has been pretty good and effective uh, this year. And I think that uh, our possession sometimes gets us into trouble. So let's make sure that we're managing the puck in the right fashion. Um, positive puck placement later in shifts is there as well. They're, uh, but they're, they're very, they play the right way. You know, not a lot of time, not a lot of space. Uh, expect some challenges all over the ice as soon as you get pucks. And, uh, but let's be aware of uh, killing their rush game and make them defend more. Joel, without getting into detail, do you still stand by the statement that you put out earlier this summer regarding what happened in Chicago? I do, but I can't comment, I comment on it. 